Hey guys, so in this little video I'm just going to show you another aspect of this, um, this spreadsheet. So if you've been following along the other ones, you'll notice that whenever I put in an answer here with our drop down box, it gives us a corresponding answer over here. And we've done that using the uh, if statement or the if function. Now one thing that I haven't shown you is how to um, make it so that when you don't have any response in here, that the answer just disappears. So how do we do that? Well, I'm glad you asked. So, and this is handy for um, other applications as well. But you'll notice as I've, as I've clicked on here, if you look up here, you'll notice that we have two ifs in this formula. So, the first part is if, and then here's our logical test, is C6, which is, oops, all right, let's try that again. So what we want to look at is C6, okay? So is, and when we look at C6, that is this cell here. So we're looking at the first yes, no, all right? So is C6 equal to blank? And that's just using two uh, quotation marks directly next to each other. If C6 is equal to blank, which is an empty string, no text, then we put a comma. What comes after the comma is what do we do with the cell if it's true? And we're just going to put blank into that cell. And then we put another comma. So anything after the comma is if it's false. So if C6 is equal to blank, if it is, if it's true, we put this, we put another blank. But if it's not true, if it does have something other than that, we want to execute this piece of code, which sits inside this if code, all right? So we've got an if statement inside another if statement, okay? So, and then you have to have the corresponding number of parentheses or brackets to make it work. Then we just go through the process of C6, is that equal to yes? If it is, then we put in the word correct. And if it isn't, we put in the word incorrect. Right, so anything other than yes will be incorrect. I hope that makes sense. Thanks for watching.